Hello everyone, it's Dan Can, Daniel Hunt, the people's realtor. Welcome to the channel. If you enjoy watching home tours, I would like to invite you to join my YouTube family by subscribing. So today, I am in Rockwell, Texas. The home you're going to view will be available in Breezy Hill Estates. They have about 12 lots available, so they are selling fast. This home is 4,100 square feet, five bedrooms, four baths, dedicated office, media area, and I have a treat for you guys, which is becoming more and more common, a mother-in-law suite. So I can't wait to show you that. Two-car garage starting at a price. I don't think I mentioned this is on an 80 foot lot. They do have 70 and 80 foot lots available starting at 694,000. This one is going for about 1.1 because it is decked out. It has a pool. Grand does not build pools, but you can have that done by a contractor, okay? I can't wait for you to see this home. Get your popcorn ready. Let's go. So, this particular model, before you enter the home, you're greeted with a wraparound driveway, which is going to lead you into your two-car garage. I'm a big fan of glass accented and iron doors. I, I love the light that it allows into your foyer. Come on in. So right when you come to the home, you're greeted with one of my favorites, white oak wood floors, 22 foot ceilings. And to the left, we have our office space, dedicated office space. You want some privacy from your media area, which we'll see that in a second. You have this oversized barn door. And love is all the small details. You have your wood paneling ceiling, very nice size, dedicated office. And then here we have our media area, okay? I am seeing in more homes where your media area is on the first level. I'm a big fan of that because it allows you to kind of still interact with company that may be in your living and kitchen area. So you have a nice media room. Here you can probably get anywhere between eight to 10 people in here comfortably. And here we have an 85 inch television set just so you can get an idea of how large the room is doesn't overpower the space at all. Another oversized barn door, which is perfect if you want privacy from uh, your company or family that may be enjoying the living area. You have a large barn door for that. Straight ahead is your two car garage. You can come in from your garage here, which will lead you into the home. But to the right, you have your utility room. Now, I didn't mention this before. You, to my right, you have a wine cellar, which you could fit about 100 bottles in here. It is not temperature controlled, but if you wanted to do that, it's the grand home. They can add that feature in for you. And I think it's just a perfect uh, way to utilize the space underneath the stairs. If it was me, I would love to have it glass uh, on both sides, have that glass feature from in this room or at least also, or at least maybe just in the living room area. That way you can enjoy it while you're dining, okay? Straight ahead, we have our first full bath, okay? Quartz countertops, chrome fixtures, high gloss tile for the flooring and the shower. And I'm loving this back wall here. It's, 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 a, it's a wood kind of detailed tile with uh, marble accents, okay? Now for our first bedroom, or I told you guys I had a surprise for you. We don't see too, we haven't seen too many of these lately, but this would be considered a mother-in-law suite and you'll see why in a second. But uh, this is a queen size bed so you can get an idea how large the room is. They do have a dresser here. How they have it designed, you probably couldn't get a dresser there. 
Here we have our closet. And this is why they call it a mother-in-law suite, guys. So living room area, you could comfortably get, you see you have a, a, a love seat here. You probably can get four people here with a larger couch. Perfect space there for a television set, additional seating area. Nice little breakfast area or you know bar area you could you could you could eat breakfast or dinner. If this was my space, I would extend this a little bit more into the side yard. That way you could actually get a stove in here, maybe a full refrigerator and another full size bathroom. That way uh, whoever is staying here doesn't have to share the bathroom that's right outside this bedroom, okay? And now let's go upstairs so we can see the bedrooms and the entertainment area. So now we're upstairs. Hey, be sure to comment what you like about the home. Could you see yourself living here? I love interacting with you all. And if you're interested in purchasing a home, this home in Rockwell, Texas, if you're looking to be anywhere in uh, the, the vicinity, be sure to text Rockwell to the number below, okay? Here we have our entertainment space, perfect for a pool table or a poker table, okay? Or this also could be another seating area where you're watching the game, more enough space to do different things, so great flex space. And here we have our first bedroom upstairs here you see they have as a day bed you can get a queen in here comfortably i think anything more than that would be too much and two small dressers full dressers no but two small dressers you can get in here comfortably okay and then here we have our closet and right outside our bedroom we have a full bathroom quartz countertops silver fixtures, slate for the tile, slate also uh, a, a really matte slate tile for your shower. Now, check out this space, everyone. Now this is really like a kid's play area, okay? I personally would like this to be a theater room <laughs> because I like a large theater room. So it is a flex space. Um, but you could have it as a kid's area or homeschooling. Lots of people who have this floor plan uh, also use this for homeschool, so amazing flex space. Uh, but if this was my home, just you know, my opinion, I would probably use the media area downstairs, another seating area, uh, or maybe just to bring clients, or uh, if you have a, a home practice or something, you have a, a seating area to bring clients, so, and this would be my theater, theater room, okay? But hey, you have, a couple different flex space to do as you wish, right? <laughs> so whatever works for you and your family. So right down the hall here, we have our second bedroom. You can, as you can see, you can get a king size bed in here comfortably. Now, one thing I like about this model is we're on the second floor, but we still have tall ceiling. We're looking at about 10 foot ceiling. So you know, it's always a, it's a terrible feeling when you're on the second floor and you feel like you're, 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 you're boxed in, right? So more than no space, you even have enough room for a seating area there, which would be perfect for a small desk, okay? Closet. And we have a bathroom here. Now you can get to the bathroom from your bedroom, but we're gonna go here from the hallway. Again, quartz for the vanity, chrome fixtures, high gloss tile, high gloss subway tile for the shower, okay? Now for the fourth, this is the fourth bedroom, right? <laughs> More enough room for a king bed. You have two full dressers here, but this is a queen. So you can see the scale of the room, okay? And this is one closet. They have two doors here, all right? <clears throat> You can do that, or you can have it as one, whatever you, whatever you wish. I would probably have it as one, but that is one full closet, okay? Now let's go downstairs to see the heart of the home and the primary bedroom. Hey guys, interact with me. Let me know what you think. 
I love meeting you guys and seeing who follow the channel. And most of you all who watch the channel <laughs> do not subscribe, have not subscribed. So feel free to subscribe. We would love to have you a part of the YouTube family. Let's go downstairs. So before we talk about the heart of the home, let's check out the primary bedroom. What do you think, guys? Could you see yourself staying in a bedroom like this? Oversized king bed, two full dressers, seating area, okay? You also can get a view of your pool there if you decide to have a pool or your backyard your oasis, however you decide to decorate that. Loving the light fixture. You have your vaulted ceilings here. I mean, this is a really nice size primary bedroom. I'm a big fan, always gotta have, in my opinion, right, in your primary bedroom, oversized king bed, and I see there, right? In case you just wanted to enjoy the sun, or just look at your backyard where you drink tea and coffee. Perfect space, love this space. And now for the primary bathroom. Big fan of this tile. This is like a wood textured tile, right? Loving the flooring in this primary bathroom. And big fan of these quartz. I love the design of these quartz countertops. Again, you have your chrome fixtures for the sink and for the cabinets. Now, I already know, I can tell, this is not gonna pass the Dan Can test, right? <laughs> because I'm 6'1", and my knees are bent. But, here's a good thing. As you can see, you have more than enough space to put an oversized tub. So, if soaking or taking a bath is your thing, you have more than enough space to do that. They provide more than enough space to do that. Here we have our shower, chrome fixtures, same quartz, uh, 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 same quartz that they have on the vanity is here for your bench area and high gloss tile for the shower. Here we have our water room and here we have our closet. This it does wrap around there, so I don't know if you can tell, I don't know if Dan can get it on camera. So you could get two people in here. Uh, one person has a ton of <laughs> clothes, maybe not. Um, I probably would customize this a little bit, maybe even extend it, but you can do that. Because with Grand Homes, if you need a little bit of extra closet space, that's not a problem. You can um, fix the floor plan to meet your needs, okay? Let me know what you think about the primary quarters, guys. Let me know what you think. And here is the living room. Now, my favorite feature, one, as usual, the gas fireplace. <laughs> this wall is actually a floor tile. This is actually a floor tile, which I think breaks up the space and adds texture to this wall quite nicely. You have your cathedral ceiling with that very modern light fixture. I think it ties into this space quite well. And what do you think about the design of this kitchen, guys? Oversized island, quartz island. If you could fit more than four ball stores, it's an oversized island. Loving the chrome fixture here on the sink. Oversized steel collier sink. Plenty of counter space, wood cabinetry here. KitchenAid refrigerator. Commercial grade KitchenAid stove with vent hood, okay? And microwave. I love that feature, how you can just tap to open and close it. So you have your microwave there. And I also want Dan to get this in, if you want to back up. It's just the small details, right? It's the small details. You have your paneled dishwasher, right? So that's your dishwasher. Love that feature, just kind of ties into the whole uh, 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 theme of the, of, of, the, of the kitchen. Love those small details. And here you have your pantry. Okay. And here is our breakfast nook or formal dining. Now, if this was my space, I would probably have this as a formal dining because I don't really have huge 
many huge dinner parties. And when I do have anywhere between eight or so friends, uh, you know, there's no need for me to have it at a dinner party. I kind of like everything to be together and people can be all included. So this would be perfect um, if you want to entertain eight people. I think anything more than that would be too much for this space, okay? So one thing I love about this area, plenty of natural light. You can see they have more than enough windows here. And I just love the, 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 the small things count, right? It's the small details. You have your high gloss subway tile to accent your back wall here, wooden shelves, and your recessed lighting underneath your shelf. Just to add a little bit of light there uh, so you can accent your trinkets or whatever you may have. Gold light fixtures, clean, minimalistic kitchen. Love it. Now let's open up the living space so we can get a good feel of the, the indoor outdoor concept. And here is our backyard. So covered porch area. Okay, you can see this is a lounge area straight across there. They have a, a, a table. You could fit easily probably eight to 10 people there. So if you want to entertain outside, you have outlets here for a gas grill and also electric. So you can do either or. And here's our pool area, guys. I mean, this is just a great area to entertain. Off there to the corner, you have a nice fire pit. And let's just talk about this area. I mean, Rockwell is growing so fast, so fast. Plenty of places to eat, plenty of places to shop. And my favorite is you're minutes away from the lake. So if you're big uh, on uh, water sports, I wish I'm a big fan. I'm, I'm on a lake in the summertime at least once a month, right? You're right near the lake. You wanna get downtown, you're about probably 35 to 40 minutes downtown. Um, that of course you have plenty of places to eat, entertainment there. So I got. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Be sure to subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you a part of my YouTube family. Text Rockwell to the number below if you're interested in purchasing in this area. Also, you can text Rockwell if you're interested in selling your home anywhere in the DFW Metroplex. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Health, peace, and prosperity to you all. And I'll see you guys in the next tour. Bye-bye.